Hi guys, it's the big it's Jen here with the Big Tex um, team, and it is 77 days away from the Great State Fair of Texas. 2018 State Fair is only 77 days away. I cannot believe it. We are all working really hard, but we have an important deadline coming up that we want to make sure that you guys are aware of. If you guys don't have one of these, this is the Creative Arts Handbook. This is where all the different categories, all the different competitions that you can enter, either pre-fair or those great cooking competitions that you can enter during the fair, are all listed in here. And the pre-fair contest, the deadline is coming up. It's next week, it's July 20th. All you have to do is go online and register. You gotta get that entry in, but you don't actually have to turn in the items. Let's go back here. We are actually out here in the middle of Creative Arts. You guys know what this building looks like during the fair. It is full of stuff on display, but right now, kind of a little sad. It's waiting for you guys to send in all of your great entries for the creative arts competition. So as you can see, some people are already a little, they are the overachievers. They are already sending their stuff in. We have a few different things in some different categories. I know our creative arts team is really busy back here um, getting everything ready for this year. Let's go see what they're up to. Hi. Hey Mary Jo. Hi. Hi. You, what are you sending out a these are judges. Judges? So we're getting all the judges ready for right. this year. That's super exciting. And we're going to come back here to Kathy. Kathy, what are you working on? Oh, I'm working on different contests. Different contests? That's great. So Kathy is our head of creative arts. Uh, she's been with us for how many years now? Oh, I think it's 28 years. 28 years. That is really crazy. Um, so I was just telling everybody, next week, is when the, you have to get your entries in. Next Friday, July 20th, we need to have you uh, get your registration forms in. You don't have to already have made your product though. You still have plenty of time because turn-in is Not uh, August. August 10th, 11th, 11th, and 12th. So you have three days to actually turn them in. So you can actually, there is a actual form in the book. If you don't have a hard book, you can download this on our website or there's a way to do it online. And yes. most of the entries, are only a few dollars. Yes. Um, and there's a small entry fee with everything, but you have a chance to get one bragging rights if you win a ribbon, ribbons, a little cash, and some of the contests actually have some really cool prizes from some of our sponsors with those. Yes. So that's really neat. Exactly. So and don't forget canning. Uh, <laughs> get your canning entries in. It's only two dollars to enter. Okay. And so pre-fair. I know it's, there's always a little bit of confusion. So we have contests that are called pre-fair. And then there's the during fair. Right. So pre-fair are all the things that you see on display in the building, and that's why they're pre-fair, so we can have them judged and right. on display for all of you to kind of visit as part of the attraction of the fair. So pre-fair includes the canning competitions, quilts, photography, arts and crafts, collectibles, all of those types of things, right? All the uh, items that children make out of Legos and right. uh, that so, kind of thing. So there's a whole adult side, and then we have the kids. Right. So we yeah. know the kids are probably all home now, right? And you have, and everybody likes to build Legos and models and paint and every, you know, everybody with their phones now, they're great photographers. So there's a lot of entries that kids can do. So it's really, go out, look at the website, find those kids' entries and see if you can get your, your we maybe get them into the fair this year. Maybe they'll win a blue ribbon. Yeah, and hey, don't forget our phone number. We're always here to help if you need some kind of help. Okay. It's 214-421-8744. No, <laughs> yeah, you always forget your phone number when you're I trying do. to say it to somebody. I never so call me. All the information's out on the website. Um, you can download this book, um, or if you want a hard copy of it, the staff here will get this to you and get it mailed to you. Um, you can or enter your stuff online, which is super easy and quick. Mm -hmm. um, and then in August, you have to turn everything in. So even if you just register now, you still have some time. We know you guys are super creative and super crafty, and we know that there's some great canners out there. So you, if you have stuff that you've already made, awesome. If mm -hmm. not, you have time between entry and turn in. Yes, we have. Do that two, three weeks. Anyway. So the one other thing that happens pre-fair that we should probably talk about. Tease them with the trophies. Oh yeah. So <laughs> that's true. You just got, did you just get those in? They have the bubble wrap yes, on. Yes, so. yes. I haven't quite awesome. finished them. You haven't, so they just got here. So maybe a lot of people don't know that we actually have a barbecue and chili challenge. Challenge. It happens the Saturday before the fair. So it's, it's happening on the grounds before we actually open the fair. And it is actually pretty unique because 
chili cook-offs are kind of a big deal, right? right? And we have an association with Cassie, mm -hmm. which um, for those of you who may not know, that is one of the organizations that actually does the Terlingua. Absolutely. And so maybe you want to tell a little bit about, like, I, I'm not exactly sure how that works, so how does that? Well, uh, the Cassie uh, chili cook-offs, uh, the, the participants get points for whatever they get. You know, mm -hmm. they have... Uh, so if you first place through tenth place, so they get points, and if they get X number of points, then they're invited to go to Terlingua, which is in the fall. That's, so and that's this is one of the deal. last places that you can right. get Cassie points to right. be able to go to Terlingua, which is a big deal. We also have a whole barbecue, so if you guys make great ribs and chicken, chicken and things like that, you, so check it out. It's also in the book. It's also on the website, but it happens right before the fair, so you can yes. kind of come out and get the spirit of the fair, get a little healthy competition going um we have we plenty had, of parking and, 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 and last ribs. year i mean we went, had a couple hundred teams last year come oh, out yes. and compete uh -huh. so it's a lot of fun um on that last day you can big text is already up so you can go get your picture with them without anybody else around it's kind of cool so again next week don't forget get those entries in we want to see you guys getting creative with us this year you guys have a great day thanks <laughs>